Yeah, I think I've just been kind of waiting for these answers and now I'm getting the answers. Yeah. Well, that's really going to help my condition, even though I can't cure this. fresh Tuesday morning. It's very quiet today. Ryan's at work, kids are at school, dogs are very sleepy and um, here I am with my first coffee of the day. I'm a little bit behind with the housework and stuff like that. We've had a very busy social life lately which I'm not complaining about. I love it but I just always feel like I slip behind with things and then after a little while it niggles me and it all gets on top of me and I'm like <gasps> one be in the house I've had a quick blitz this morning done some washing and stuff like that another being my healthy diet and things like that which after so long it drives me nuts if I don't feel like I've been on track I came back from London with Ryan. We went to London not too long ago to get the kids from the UK. Stopped off at London on the way for a few days for Ryan's birthday. Obviously, we were absolute greedy pigs in London. It was a complete food fest, overindulge, which was lovely. But I came back feeling like, ugh, I need to sort myself out. And since then, I feel like we've just had a lot of social things and getting the kids back in routine and things like that and I just haven't taken as much time for myself as I planned and as I would have liked to because I really wanted to tighten my exercise routine and things like that and it just hasn't happened so this morning I woke up I thought right first thing I want to do is go in the gym which I've done had a shower having my coffee and do you know, I think the problem is sometimes I wait for the perfect time to start. But the key is not to wait for the perfect time. You can't pause life. I think it's just about being disciplined and making the right choices whilst you're in that environment. Or just not letting that weekend put you off for the rest of the week. And once you've mastered that, I think that is key. And that's something that I've let slip recently. Another reason why it's so important to make sure that I take my diet and my exercise so much more seriously and be even more disciplined with myself. I know it sounds extreme, you're probably thinking, well, you're not overweight, you're not this. It's my back and you're probably sick to death of me talking about my ongoing back problems. I've changed my mind on things so many times with it. I've just wanted answers and I finally got some answers. After going to the osteopath for quite a few months, I would always feel better after the osteopath. She's amazing. She does some great techniques. She really stretches and cracks everything. And I do come out from the osteopath feeling brand new. Just, you know, it loosens everything up. It's like in the morning when I wake up all stiff with my back, I have to do stretches and things and then naturally after a couple of hours you just loosen up and you feel fine. Well, that's what it was like after going to see her. I would just feel much more mobile and pain free and things like that. But what I did notice was that she wasn't curing my nighttime pain because my back's usually okay in the day. Unless I walk for miles and miles, it does get achy. But the pain comes on a night time. It's chronic pain. Every single night this year, I have not had one complete pain-free night. So after a few months of seeing my osteopath, I did start to panic thinking, oh, what if we're missing something? What if there's something underlying which, you know, she's not seeing? So I booked to see a doctor who referred me to the hospital for some scans um, x-ray kind of things and it answered a lot of questions and confirmed something that I was kind of thinking I did have after doing my own research on Google because something I did find was my diet would make a massive impact to how I slept on a night time 
So if I followed the anti-inflammatory diet, which was hardly any sugar, no processed foods, just healthy meat, vegetables, minimal carbs, if I followed that, my back pain, I could get it down to a one slash two, whereas if my diet's not like that, it would go right up to some nights a 10. So tight, like I just couldn't move, I couldn't even take a big breath, it's horrible. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. Do you wanna know what I've got? I've got mild, it is mild, but it's there, scoliosis. So it's a very slight curve. I am lucky to fall into this mild category, but my hips are slightly out, which means the spine goes in a slight, it's like a slight S shape curve. And this is where I get all my pain, like in the center there. And I think there's slight pressure or nerve damage or something on one of my discs around here. The next step is going for some blood tests to see if there's inflammatory like build up there, which I think there is. And I think that's why my diet makes a huge difference. I feel a little bit relieved to have the answers because I got myself in a real mess at the hospital. I had a bit of a panic attack because I thought, what if I've been putting off something major for all these months by going to an osteopath thinking I'm doing the right thing. What if we've missed something? And I was just dreading the results. I got myself in a real pickle, guys. So it's a bit of a relief, uh, but also something that can't be cured. So it just means that I've got to take my exercise and my diet so seriously from now. Even like the extra pounds when I fluctuate within a few pounds, it's just extra strain and pressure on my joints. So let's share this journey. Who would like, let me know if you'd like me to do, do the occasional like um, food and fitness vlog, where I am, what I've been doing, what I find helps, meals, exercise. Shall we share it together? Because I know so many of us women and men it's, our health is important. So, plans for today, it is Nancy's birthday on Saturday. We're now on Tuesday. I feel like I've done very, very little prep for a birthday. I've just been buying bits here and there, shoving them away in a cupboard, and now, come to think of it, I really don't think there's much in that cupboard. So, I'm going to go down, get everything out, bring it up here, there's a lot of stuff from my mum and my nan because when she went to stay uh, with my mum and dad, she went shopping to choose some bits for her birthday. So I've brought all that back with me. I need to wrap that. But yeah, I feel like I need to um, get my act together and get sorted before it all piles on top of me this weekend. She wants to actually go shopping for a birthday with one of her besties. So that's what she's doing. And then just having a girly sleepover so i'm not going to get too much because she'll want to choose some bits herself but yeah i'm going to make a start i've literally just carried it upstairs and thrown it on here sugar's like what is all that i'm leaving hello my beautiful do you want to play do you want to play here look oh oh it's stuck to you oh it's on your arm Okay, I'm not panicking too much now because she's got quite a nice little pile going on here. I'll show you what my mum and my nan have got first. In case any of you are struggling for gift ideas, you've got daughters, granddaughters, nieces. I don't know. Here's what Nancy chose anyway. So, she got a builder bear. Why she wanted another teddy, I don't know, but she did. I feel like a lot of it is the novelty process of choosing the bear and choosing the outfit. It's just a great experience, and she's never actually done that before at Build-A-Bear. So my mum took her there. She chose a scent. It smells beautiful. I think she called it Bella. Comes with a certificate and all that. And um, it's got a heart, heartbeat. I think it's got a voice recording as well. I think. Oh, here. Happy 9th birthday, Nancy. Lots of love from Ninny and Grandad. 
love you to pieces. To pieces. So, bye. Some little accessories to go with it. Oh, she's got some of this slimy clay stuff, which she probably chose with my mum because I've kind of banged it from the house. But anyway, some face painting crayons. Cute, fluffy headband. Purple is the colour that she's into at the minute. Some fancy hand lotion from Claire's. A pack of gel pens. Cute little notebook. This is all from my mum, by the way. Spoiled her. Mood necklace. Now, she's had a little obsession with these mood jewellery pieces. Obviously, they change colour to your mood or temperature. And this one's like a little locket version, so it opens. Fabric paints. Little pair of earrings. How sweet are they? A hand fan. Cute little makeup compact. She was going crazy about this. I think this was from one of the Bits and Bob shops. It's a hand. You can move its fingers and position it. I don't know why she loved it so much, but a bath bomb. So Crocs are like huge, aren't they? And they're even like a winter piece as well because kids, adults, whoever's brave enough wears them with like thick, chunky scrunchy socks as well so they'll be nice to take her into winter and she got some of the um gibbets are they called which go in the crocs you know to like jazz them up a little bit and then from my nan pajamas and a snuddy a snuddy is a must to go into autumn winter this is gorgeous oh this is from my mum and nan as well claire's uh, i think it's makeup is it yes it's makeup and then i have got her especially in summer she is starting to need deodorant now and she's only going to be nine so i don't really want to wear in any harsh deodorants and i switched to the wild deodorant i don't know if you can remember so i thought oh what a great gift i'll buy her her first wild deodorant so this was a limited edition one but i thought it was great for nancy i got this one and then what we can do is share our subscription of refills because i think i've got refills that come every other month i think so many come um so i'll see how we get on and i might up the subscription if she uses it more often but yeah and it's even got a little name put on the top there how sweet is that i got some of these dancing boots so these are like um perfect for winter when she's coming out of dancing and she can't be bothered to take her ballet shoes off and put her trainers on or her boots on you just slip these over the top so you go in these and come out in these just handy little pair of boots for ballet pair of pajamas that i picked up whilst i was in the uk these were only from sainsbury's i think i saw them and they're just that really lovely quality cotton and they were an absolute bargain these ones were from zara again that really nice beautiful cotton these ones are ribbed and they've got like a little dipsy print all over them the trousers just got the little fluted edge at the bottom lots of new bobbles and there's a hair clip there i've got some more hair clips here a pack of rings this is all from a shop called flying tiger bows just because she wears her hair in two plaits for school so i thought matching pair of little bows would look quite nice on the ends oh this is for a little bathroom what she can put her toothbrushes in and a toothpaste and things like that revolting sugary sweets because it's a birthday and these are the stuff that the kids when we're at the shops like food shopping or whatever they have all this stuff around the tills mom can we have this no 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 i'm always saying no you're not buying that rubbish so we buy the rubbish because it's a birthday a lovely delivery of autumn winter clothing from zara we went for a lilac cardigan so it kind of matches her rocks and the whole lilac theme that she's going with at the minute 
Keeping in again in theme with the lilac, we've got this gorgeous dress. How pretty is this? Just comfortable, but really easy wearing throw on. It's like a kind of thick cheesecloth-y cotton material. Really lovely. A hoodie dress. I know she will love this. Just cute, casual, fun pieces. Funky t-shirt. I'll try and link whatever I can from what I'm showing you down below in the description. So this, if there's anything that you like the look of for a gift or anything like that, then you can easily shop. I loved this t-shirt. I know it's not really t-shirt weather, but these are like cropped oversized t-shirts. So she'll wear them straight away for the end of the warmth here and then they'll last her all next year as well. Another t-shirt, she just loves putting a nice t-shirt on for school and she can pop a little cardio jacket over the top. This one's got all this on the back. Denim dress, how handy. I thought it would go with trainers, with boots, with crocs, anything. Just thought it was a really handy piece to have in a wardrobe with tights, with long socks, easy. Dress which I thought would be nice to go over Christmas time as well. It's got that really lovely collar on there, that detailed collar. And it is black, but she's got a really nice pair of like um, black leather boots that would be nice with this as well in winter. And there we go, guys. I'm not panicking so much. She's got quite a lot. So if I see anything from now um, up until Saturday, because I am in can quite a lot with her for dancing, I always go in the shops when I'm in camp, so I might pick some extra bits up, but I'm not stressing so much. I'm going to get wrapped. One thing that she has specifically asked for, which she really wants, which she was enjoying using at my mum's, is an Alexa. Or what are they called now again, sorry? Echo Dot. Echo Dot. Mm. So we tried to get one the other evening while we were in Cannes, but um, we couldn't get them from the electrical store, so where do we need to go? There's either Boulanger. All right. Or uh, Leclerc, I think they'll sell them as well. Or even so uh, Caffo, big one on TV. Yes. So we're going to be on a mission to get one of those before Saturday. Mm. And then I think we're all right, you know, I don't think we need too much more. She can just buy a couple of bits on her actual birthday when we go shopping. Have a girly day, get all the treats and snacks in and do all that. Have you missed Daddy today? Are you not joining in, Syl? Look at the gorgeous cutie face. See me. <laughs> Mummy's missed you very much today. And do you know what? Yeah. Mummy's been um, wrapping some presents for your birthday today. <coughs> so, are you excited? You're going to have a nice girly day shopping on your With actual Ava. birthday. With Elsa. Okay. And then. We're going to have a girly sleepover with Ava. popcorn, 
chick flicks. I mean, you can watch Hocus Pocus. You can watch Mean Girls. What else? Oh, I want to watch Mean Girls. Oh, and we actually found out the other day, Nancy has not yet watched Grease. What? <gasps> what? Got to watch Grease, haven't you? Should is we it, save that one? Is it like Grease on Burgers? You will love it. And then tomorrow it's going to be technically two days. Is there anything you want for your birthday or do you just want lots of surprises? I just like little cute bits. That's good. Because I'm not too, like, fussy on big bits. I like little bits and stuff. Ooh, like, that sounds fun. You know, like, just like to keep me up to try. you doing them scissors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's me boy. Yeah. We know what you like to do when you get back from school, don't we? Yeah. Dressing gown on, full oh, chill mode activated. Okay, come on. Hey. Oh, no. That's all we're getting from Seth today, guys. Oh, come on. Let me spawn my car. Morning, morning. Coffee. Brought from home in my reusable cup. Made it extra hot, but it's a tad on the cold side because we've had a bit of a drive this morning. Just at Nancy's dancing it's the early morning dance run and can't chat for too long guys because i've got to get out and do my exercise it's serious usually on this dancing run i would saunter saunter around the shops that's what i do and i think oh well i'm still getting steps just sauntering around the shops well no making a change now on this dancing run morning one can we're going to go beachfront and we are going to pound the pavements that's what I'm doing. Honestly, I've never taken my diet and exercise as seriously as I am now. Things are changing. We all want to look good and feel good, but when your health actually questions you, it's time for a change. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do a power walk um, when I finish this. And then do you know what? I'd say by October, November, it's going to turn into jogs and them jogs might even turn into runs. <laughs> no, the thing is, I, I said earlier, I've got to, I've got to keep as lean as possible. That's really going to help my condition, even though I can't cure this scoliosis. I feel like I can cure the inflammation and the pain if I really, really put my mind to it and cut out sugar and make exercise an almost everyday thing. So join me if you want. I'm on it. I am on it. Yeah, I think I've just been kind of waiting for these answers and now I'm getting the answers. I really, really feel serious about it. Like I've even thought to myself on Friday this week, I am going to block out a slot and actually sit down and put a plan in place for next week because life's busy that isn't going to change life's going to be busy but it's about making changes and scheduling things in just like this morning like switching my saunter for actual exercise so i'm going to put like a bit of a rotor together for next week and actually prioritize me and make time for me and make sure i stick to it i'm going to monitor as well how i obviously feel with my pain and things and i'm going to smash it i'm going to get rid of it I am. So yeah, with regards to my back, I've got a couple more appointments. I think I've got a physio appointment. I'm going to be starting physio. And also I need to go for my blood tests. Yeah. So that's my morning, guys. I'm feeling positive. Seth's at school. Nancy's in dance. And um, let's go into camp. day 
I didn't actually finish the vlog off yesterday after I uh, went on my I went on a really good pal walk yesterday morning. Did you? Yeah. Where and to? I got to Nance off at dancing. I went power walking on oh. Cam Beachfront instead of shopping. Very good. Yeah. Good switch, isn't it? Yeah, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, actually, when I got back, it really set me off on the right foot. I had loads of energy and when I got into bed last night I was aching like mad, like my whole body and I thought, hang on, how many steps have I actually done today? And I'd done just under 18,000 steps. Can you believe that? Wow, yeah. I know. So I've actually stole Ryan for a couple of hours today. Jono, Rye's brother, is doing some work in our little downstairs bathroom. We're just having some tiles put in there. So he's in and out cutting tiles so the doors are open. So we've got the dogs in the back. We just chucked the dogs in the car so they didn't escape. Didn't we, darlings? Hey. They're very comfortable and being well behaved, so. Mm. But yeah, what have I got to tell you? I just wanted to come on and kind of round this vlog up, really. Uh, oh, we've just been to the electrical shop because I didn't really know what to get. I know Nancy wanted like an Alexa thing. So we went to the uh, electrical shop, didn't we, hon? Boulanger. And um, we got the Echo Show. She wants this in a bedroom because she'll just like ask it loads of questions, get it to play songs, you know what to do. So we got this one. I chose this one didn't you because it's got like a little screen on it and with this package because this was the last one in white and it came with a doorbell a ring doorbell a ring doorbell so Which, we're going to yeah. use the um, we're a little bit behind the times with the ring doorbells I know everyone's had them for such a long time yeah well now we've got one now we've got one so yeah we're just getting the final bits sorted for little missus birthday in two days and um yeah my next vlog will probably be Nancy's birthday. Oh, there might be one in between that actually, like a little cheeky midweek one, but we'll see. And um, thank you for joining us, joining me, catching up, sending love, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.